Beeps by Psy Creations. Have you ever seen those ghost detection apps? You know, the ones that can supposedly detect when a ghost is within distance? Well, I've never thought too much about those ridiculous apps before. Hell, I'm not even the app kind of person. But last month, out of drunken boredom, I curiously downloaded one of those ghost detection apps while scrolling around on my Android Galaxy 4. As I drank my bottle of arrogant bastard ale, I opened my new app. I silently stared at the green and black radar rotating on my phone screen. After about 10 minutes or so, I got a bit tired of just listening to the tedious beeping from the app without any detection of ghosts, so I closed the app and opened Pandora to listen to one of my stations. In this moment, while I made myself a sandwich, I placed my phone face down on my living room table just before I sluggishly walked into the kitchen with my drink in hand. I remember the song that was playing was Blood, from In This Moment. Anyway, I downed the rest of my beer and grabbed another from the fridge while also getting out the cheese and ham. While squirting on some mustard over the slices of ham that laid on the cheese and lettuce, I heard a strange noise. It sounded like static or an interference of some sort. Honestly, it didn't faze me at all because I thought it was some intro to a song from Pandora. Then, after about a minute of the sound, there was complete silence. I grabbed my beer, a half-empty bag of nacho cheese Doritos, and my plate with my sandwich and began walking back into my living room. That's when I heard a soft, childlike voice come from my phone. Help me. I froze in motion for a moment while staring down at my phone. I slowly placed my food down onto my living room table and picked up my phone. Pandora had closed, and the ghost detection app was now open. I put down my phone on the table while I flicked off my beer's cap with my bottle opener. The rotating radar didn't show any signs of activity. The only sound that now came from my phone were those tedious, sharp beeps that resembled the beeps from a heart monitor. I sat down, picked up my phone, and took a few drinks from my bottle. Beep. 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 After ten minutes passed by, and nothing. Beep. 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 I closed the app and opened YouTube to watch some random comedy videos. After I finished my sandwich and chips, I leisurely kicked my legs up onto the sofa to get more comfortable. Rather than continuously holding onto my phone, I placed it onto my cell phone holder on my living room table and laid on my side so I could watch videos. At this point, I'll admit, I was already feeling kinda buzzed after only four beers, so there I was, laying down and watching YouTube. I don't remember what I was watching exactly, because like I said, I was watching random videos. I'm not certain how much time had passed while I was knocked out, but I just remember waking up to the sight of the green and black rotating radar. Confused, I sat up, rubbed my eyes, and picked up my phone. All of a sudden, a blue colored dot appeared near the center of the radar. Beep, beep, beep. Help me. It was the same childlike voice I had heard earlier. Chills ran down my spine as the beeping faded away into dead air, and the voice began to whimper as if it were beyond scared. Intrigued and frightened, I turned up the volume on my phone while eagerly watching the radar. Suddenly, the blue dot vanished from the radar and the beeping returned. Curious, I opened the app's description to read what the blue dots were, but there was nothing about blue dots. All there was were green dots, which meant that an entity was within range, and apparently the app was able to pick up certain words spoken by ghosts. I then went on to read reviews left from other people, but no one mentioned blue dots. So I decided to Google the app's name followed with blue dots. Nothing came up. I was actually asked, did you mean green dots? I closed everything from my phone and decided to just ignore it all. Seeing that my phone was at 15%, I plugged my phone into my charger and began getting ready for bed. While brushing my teeth, I started to hear beeping coming from my living room. Still brushing my teeth, I immediately walked out of my bathroom and into my living room. Beep, 
Beep, beep. What the hell? I know I closed out of the app. With my toothbrush in my mouth, I walked into my living room and found that the app had opened on its own. I unplugged my phone and sternly stared at the radar on my screen. The blue dot suddenly appeared on the radar, and after every other beep, it would get closer to the center. Shaken, I nervously sat down on my sofa while maintaining complete focus on my phone. Help me, interrupted the repeated beeps. I remained speechless and attentive while mesmerized by the blue dot and those unremitting beeps. Suddenly, an eerie static-sounding interference broke my trance while silencing the beeps. A second blue dot now appeared on the edge of the radar. As it got closer to the first blue dot, it began growing larger in size. Just as the now larger second blue dot appeared next to the first blue dot, a shattering scream emerged from my phone, causing me to jump back and drop my phone. I scrambled up to my feet and walked away from my phone for a brief moment to catch my breath. Beep. 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 I reached down to pick up my phone to only see a dotless radar. I shut off my phone, placed it back on the charger, and finished brushing my teeth. That night, when I got into bed, with my phone, I decided to open the app to see if I could see anything else. The green and black radar just rotated while the beeps repeated over and over again. Suddenly, a green dot appeared on the radar and the app said, yellow. The green dot instantly disappeared as fast as it had appeared. After an hour of watching the radar with constant, dull activity of green dots appearing and disappearing, and random words, I closed the app and went to sleep. A week went by with pretty much no activity. Beep. 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 Book. This one night I got home from work, undressed and showered. I put in Columbiana to watch while I ate a Pop-Tart and drank a glass of milk. That's when it happened again. I wasn't even thinking about the app or the blue dot. With my attention on my television screen, the same soft, childlike voice echoed from my phone. Help me. Alarmed, I sat up straight and grabbed my phone, which was sitting face down on my living room table. As I flipped over my phone, I saw the app had opened on its own again. Unsettled, I paused the movie and held onto my phone with the anticipation of seeing the blue dot again. Beep. 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 The radar displayed nothing but its slow rotation. Just as I was going to close out of the app, the blue dot appeared. Suddenly, I was spellbound and terrified as the blue dot centered itself near the center of the radar and pleaded, Help me! I looked around my living room in hopes to see something paranormal, but I didn't. So I glanced back down onto my phone and timidly asked it, Help you with what? What happened next was something I wasn't expecting. A loud, shrieking scream suddenly transpired from my phone. Help me! Without thinking, I tossed my phone and ran into my bedroom, shaking my hands as if shaking water off of them. After several deep sighs, I walked out of my bedroom to retrieve my phone. The back casing for my phone had popped off and my battery had fallen out. When I collected the pieces of my phone to put it back together, I saw that I had severely cracked my screen. At least now I had a reason to get a new phone. Terrified, I decided not to put my phone together and decided to finish my movie to calm me down. That was roughly two weeks ago. A month has gone by since I initially downloaded that ghost detection app. After I got a new phone, the Samsung Galaxy S5, I decided not to download that app again. Well, after the first day of having that phone, I began hearing those beeps again. At first I thought it was my imagination playing tricks on me while I was in the shower. Beep. 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 Realizing that it wasn't my mind playing tricks on me, I turned off the water. Beep. 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 Just then, that static sounding interference instantly silenced the beeps. I slid open my shower's door and immediately wrapped myself in a towel while stepping out. 
As I walked closer towards my new phone, I saw it. Astounded and unnerved, I picked up my phone from my bedroom dresser while staring intensely at the green and black rotating radar that gave off an unearthly static sound. Help me! Was lightly echoed just as the blue dot became visible on the radar. I just couldn't understand it. I didn't even have that app on my new phone. That was yesterday. I just got back from the phone store with an iPhone 7. It's an okay phone. I'm still learning how to use it. Though, on my way home with my new phone, I could have sworn I heard those uncanny beeps coming from my phone, which was still in its box. Batteryless. However, when I got home and examined my new iPhone 7, there was nothing out of the ordinary. Perhaps it was simply my imagination. I put in the battery and began playing with my iPhone. I think I might like this phone, actually. That was an hour ago. After I had set down my phone onto my kitchen table to grab some orange juice out of my fridge, I heard it again. Beep. 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 Baffled, I walked towards my phone while still holding on to my carton of orange juice. The green and black rotating radar had taken over my screen. I hadn't even downloaded anything. What the hell? I placed down the orange juice on my table and picked up my phone to watch the radar. Beep. 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 Hypnotized by the radar and the slowly increasing sound of static interfering with the beeps, I heard that same childlike voice again. Help! Except it didn't come from my phone. It came from behind me. I slowly turned around. There it was, staring dead into my eyes, the blue dot. Though it wasn't a blue dot, it was a little girl with her throat brutally slashed open and blood oozing out. She couldn't have been more than six years old. She wore an out-of-date, blood-stained white dress with black buttons from top to bottom white socks, and black dress shoes. Her blonde, curly hair had a white flower loosely hanging near her right ear. She had the saddest blue eyes I've ever seen that were filled with endless tears. While holding onto a blood and dirt covered teddy bear, the little girl spoke in a quivering, soft voice. Help me. Horrified by the image that stood before me, I slowly began to take a step back with extreme apprehension. Before I could make my first step back, I heard a deafening scream that shot out from behind me. I quickly spun around with my hands covering my head in defense while still clasping onto my phone. Without seeing what had screamed, I hurled myself onto the floor and quickly hid under my kitchen table with my eyes tightly shut and my hands shielding my head. Silence. Complete and sickening silence now hummed throughout my house. I opened my eyes and crawled out from under my kitchen table. I looked down at my phone to see that damn green and black radar silently rotating. I placed down my phone on my table near my orange juice and began walking throughout my quiescent house to investigate. Everything seemed calm. Then, I heard it come back to life in my kitchen. Beep. 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 